So what is going on guys, NatorBase93 here with another video and today we're going to talk about Microsoft Word on the iPad Pro. I released a video on Microsoft Office in general and you guys had a ton of follow up questions so I thought hey, so I want to do a series where I go over every single Microsoft Office suite application and kind of go a little bit more in depth on each one of them to show you guys that we're getting to the point where Microsoft native applications are getting good enough to fully replace your desktop. I've always recommended going with the online version in the beginning because a lot of these applications were very watered down and they just didn't work that well. But now I got my hands on the beta update and it's looking good guys. It's looking real good. So today we're going to talk about Microsoft Word and definitely subscribe if you guys want to see, you know, Excel, OneDrive, PowerPoint, OneNote and a bunch of other ones that I'm definitely going to go more in depth with. And I can't forget about Microsoft Teams. You guys are asking a lot about that, but let's hop right into the video. So guys, I, did, I definitely wanted to show you how Microsoft Word works on the iPad Pro because I did get my hands on the beta version of Microsoft. So real quick, if we go into test flight, I was able to get the beta versions of most of the Office Suite applications, as you guys can see. So I have Outlook, OneNote, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. The only one I was not able to get was the Microsoft Office one, which is basically like a hub that they created, which, you know, you have the hub on the online platform and they have it for the iPhone but they haven't made it for the iPad, which unfortunately they ran out of beta testers or enough beta tester licenses, but I do have all the other ones and I do want to walk you guys through Microsoft Word and how it works now on the iPad Pro because we have seen a lot of development and a lot of updates. So I'm going to go through pretty much just how somebody would use Word normally and then kind of show you guys some of the ins and outs of you know how it works in terms of how it compares to the normal you know computer desktop version of Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word in this case. So today we're just going to work off a regular template. So let's go into this for sale one, right? So as you guys can see, the first things first is the cursor support has been fully updated, right? So you can see before we used to get this, so it would kind of magnetize to the toolbar and stuff like that, which was cool. But when we got into the actual words, it wouldn't turn into that cursor like we see right now. So the first thing you see is that we finally have full cursor support on Microsoft Word, which is awesome. So now I can just click here, highlight one thing basically use it like a normal computer, right? Click and drag. So I'm holding down the mouse, dragging, and it highlights everything. If I just click on one of the words, double click here, it highlights all those words in that same line. You know, you can click on the image. I can resize the image from here, as you guys can see. So if I move the image over to the cursor over here where you kind of realign and resize an image, you can see that it's changing totally. And I can move it and leave it as I see fit, right? So that's the first thing. We got full cursor support with the iPad Pro and Microsoft Office, which was awesome to see. Okay, so the next thing that I do want to test out is A, make sure that we can have two instances of Word, which if you guys have seen my videos in the past, you know that you can actually do that. But what I wanted to check is see if we can use, I wanted to see if we can kind of take text from one Microsoft document to another one. Also be able to move images from one document to the other one just to see how realistic and how much it, and how it compares, again, to the desktop version. So like I said, I have one open over here. We're going to open up this newsletter template over here. So first things first, I want to see if I can... First, double click, so you have all the different things, so you can copy. All I have to do is highlight the actual text and then use two fingers to highlight everything. And if I go over to here and kind of just go on top and press, again, two fingers and paste, as you guys can see, the text moves over. So it says to get started, and you can see that it's the same text. It's just using the, the same font that it was in before. So highlight all that, delete it. And then what I wanna do is see if we can use this image. Again, we're gonna copy it. All with the trackpad and the mouse, come over here, highlight that, get rid of the for sale and paste it, and then boom, the image is right there. So you're able to use data from different instances of Word just like you would on any other desktop computer, which I love. And then you can even have, I believe, a third one. So let's try that out. Get a third Word going right here, and boom, you have three different instances if you really want it, right? I don't know how many people are gonna be doing that, but just so you know, that is there. The next thing I wanna know is how it works with the files application, right? So I have the files application open. Let's reopen our Word document, you know, back to the one that we were using, which was this one. And I wanna see if you can kinda of just drag and drop files into there, right? I'm gonna move this even smaller just so I can get a better visual, just so I can get a better visual of the actual document itself. But if I wanna, for instance, grab this, this image right here of all my friends and stuff like that, all I have to do is hold it down, drag it, and if I can drop it, let's see what happens. So I can just drop it right in there and boom, it's an editable picture that I can kind of move around. You can see it's there and it works just like it would with a normal files application on your desktop. So these are all things that are awesome, right? And then the, the only other thing that I do really want to touch on is this toolbar, right? People had some questions, especially in regards to headers and footers. 
So if you go into the insert tab, again, you're gonna have to learn what all these different icons mean. On the desktop version, it's kind of spelled out for you what every single icon does, right? So obviously this is for charts, for images, to use the, to use the actual camera, so basically to scan documents. But what I wanted to do was the header and footer. So we can actually edit the header. Let's do a test, press enter, click anywhere else on the document, and then you can see that now I have test on the header of every single page here on after. And then another thing is if I go back into the header, I can even add an image. So if I grab again this thing from the files app, move it over, drop it into the header, I can make it tiny. So if I scroll down, now you can see that the image is in the header for every single one, which is amazing to see. So what I like, what I like about this is that it's, a, it's turning into more of a usable Microsoft Word alternative. And Microsoft Word is by far the best one in my opinion. Uh, PowerPoint's also really good. Excel is getting there, but Microsoft Word is doing wonders when it comes to the iPad and the new beta update makes it even more user friendly, right? And then another beautiful thing is the drawing feature. So now I'm pulling out the pen, pressing on the pressing on the marker, and now all of a sudden I can annotate live. I can be like, hey, look at my friends. And it's all there, which is awesome, right? And then if I get out of there and if you want to see what it, Microsoft does with that, it takes it as an image. So if you go over the actual script or whatever you wrote down or hand wrote, you can kind of double click and you can see that now it's now its own kind of image or its own file. So whenever you handwrite something and then get out of the writing mode, it turns that handwriting into an image file essentially that you can move around. So if I go here, click on it, now that's a whole movable thing that I can move wherever I want. Unfortunately, it doesn't convert it to text, which I tried to test that with Scribble and unfortunately it doesn't work. So for instance, if I, let's press undo on all that, just so we can get rid of everything that's there. But unfortunately, Microsoft Word does not work with Scribble, at least not within the context and the content of the Word document, right? So for instance, if I wanted to just get rid of this and see how the cursor's there, you would essentially would start handwriting, but it would default to the actual normal handwriting and it doesn't convert it to text. So if I say hi, it just stays as hi and then it uses it again as an image that you would have to delete manually. So if I click here, gone. If I click here, so where Scribble does work is when you're using the search functionality. So for instance, if I go in the top right corner and press on the little search bar and I want to see where the word item comes in, I can just grab my Apple Pencil, write in the word item. It shows up there and you can see that it's highlighting all the items right there and you just press search down here and it shows you all the different items. There's 14 instances, right? So unfortunately, that's the only place where I've seen Scribble work. Maybe eventually they'll bring it to the actual content and the context of the actual document and be able to handwrite something then convert it to text. But the only way to actually do that right now is if you handwrite it within the Apple Notes app, convert it to text and then copy and paste it over to your Word document. But overall, as you guys can see, it's getting there. Not only that, but I'm signed into my OneDrive. So I'm gonna delete this draft, I go back, and if I go into my files, all of my OneDrive documents are in here. So I can open up whatever I want, open up forms, edit them, sign them with the Apple Pencil, save them, and then it'll show up on my desktop computer as well or anywhere else that I have access to my OneDrive. So that's the beauty about the cloud and the beauty about the ecosystem that goes with the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro can be used as a supplemental device to help with your Microsoft Office needs or it can honestly be your main device at this point, minus a few caveats, but with Word itself, I think Word is fully functional and you can get all your Word work done. The only thing that I have to do a little bit more research is on you know, bibliographies and MLA formatting and being able to automatically bring that in, which is something that I haven't seen yet. If you just need a text editor or if you need something to just sign something quickly or if you need to put together a brochure or put together a template, Microsoft Word is an amazing, amazing feature, guys. So let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Like I mentioned, I got the new beta update and the beta update is getting us pretty much almost all the way there when it comes to comparing it to a desktop supported application. One of the biggest things is just how it kind of talks to other plugins and extensions. So for instance, somebody asked me about bibliographies and being able to automate you know, what sources you use when writing an essay or writing a, a term paper, anything like that. And I haven't found a way to do that, but at the same time, I never actually used that functionality on a normal desktop. I would kind of just use a third party citation machine. That's what I used to, used to use back in the day. But other than that, I think it's there. Like I said, we got full cursor support. We're able to use two instances of Microsoft Word. You can drag and drop files from the files application into Microsoft Word. You can work off of your OneDrive. You can use an already created Microsoft Word document and then edit it on the fly or vice versa and start a new document and then edit it at, at your desk when you get to work. So we're getting there when it comes to Microsoft functionality for you know the business professional users that really wanna to go to the iPad Pro. 
but can't as of now. But that's gonna do it for this video. My goal is to kind of get everybody more comfortable with iPad Pro in a corporate setting because everybody knows that could edit 4K raw images and all that good stuff, but not everybody's a creative. People need Microsoft Word to A, communicate and just to get work done, right? So that's gonna do it for this video. And like I said, subscribe for more Microsoft Office content on the iPad Pro.